Hello guys and welcome to the next lesson about camel. Today we're going to talk about being validation. But before we start, I would like to ask you to check my GitHub repo, which is in description, and to see, you can see there all this code uh, for the camel project and for the Spring Boot project. So you can just clone it and use it to practice or whatever. So, uh, you can also see there my Twitter account and the uh, link to my book on Amazon, which you can download and uh, buy. Okay, let's start. So, what is bin validation? Let's check the camel website. Mm. The bin validation is validate a component performs bin validation of the message body using Java bin validation API. Camel uses the reference implementation, which is hibernate to validator. Here is the main dependency you should add. URI format looks like bin validator and label. Label is basically the name of this uh, bin validator which you want just to say what you validate here. Nothing, nothing much. URI options, there are a ton of options here you can use. There are also query parameters which you can use. You can check it out and see if uh, something works for you. We will just uh, check basic setup right now. And yeah, there are some uh, examples. Yeah, there, yeah, yeah. there. Okay, so let's start. Uh, because I recorded this clip uh, ten minutes ago and forgot to plug in my microphone, I record all this again. So <laughs> let's just go to through this code and see what happens when we change some of the parameters here. Okay. So. Uh, we have address class we used in the previous tutorials. I slightly change it in order to fit for this tutorial right here. So uh, the idea is to have this object with some fields in it which are populated and to set them as the, the body in camel root and then to validate that object right here using annotations here. So yeah, it's, it's pretty straightforward, but let's just, let's just go to this, um, maybe to use, mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. appearance, presentation mode, okay. Okay, so we have the, okay, street name, we don't want it to be, to be now, and the size of the this string should be between five and one hundred and fifty characters. Building number, uh, <clears throat> not now. Also, since it's a decimal, a decimal value should be one. Okay, so not now. The size two to one hundred and fifty for the city. Not now. Decimal mint value. 10,000, not now size, you, you get the point, so, um, okay, let's exit presentation mode and start the application to see uh, if it will pass if we set here value to none. Okay, and uh, so we got validation exception, bin validation exception, which validation failed for this right here. It's just printed in the console, and uh, the property building number value zero constraint must be greater than or equal to one. So yeah, it works. As you can see, we set here to be minimum one. So. If we can, if we set here one and then comment this street name and then reload the application. That is my dog in the, dog in the background. If you, if you can actually hear it. And we get validation field for, for the street name value null constraint must not be null. So you get the idea. 
how it actually works. If we roll one more time, we will get the success here. It do not throw any exception. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, guys, hope you like it. Please comment if you would like to see some specific tutorial. Please subscribe because this means a lot to me. I am already up to 60 subscribers, which is pretty awesome. I would like to get at least 100 in order to maybe start doing two videos a week or I don't know. Okay, thank you, bye bye.